uh, quick stated tutorial here. So we've seen lots of different ways of uh, formatting stated output, the put doc x, outrig, as doc, uh, all have their pluses and minuses. Uh, we want to add one more to the to the list uh, using the uh, estimate store, estimates tab, or est, sto, est, tab uh, combination. So this is one of those packages that you have to install. So if you haven't already, when you've got Stata open, ssc install estoutest out. Uh, and there's obviously going to be a, a help menu installed with this. So check that out for all the different options. But just to get a, a little bit of a taste of what we can do with it, uh, let's call up an example data set here. Um, so I'm going to be using the, uh, the Woldridge data set uh, that we can access through the Boston College site. So once again, if you haven't already, go ahead and install that package. So it's ssc install bcus and go to their website. It's got the entire list of all the uh, the data sets that are available um, and just a real nice easy source for uh, example data sets to play around with. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and call up a data set of county level crime rates. Uh, with various other county level uh, identifiers and uh, characteristics. So we want to run a couple regressions and then put them into table format. Uh, and then we want to be able to export those into a Word or a CSV or a uh, an Excel file. So if we want to run the regression of, for example, crime rate as a function of police per capita, all we have to do is, before the regress command, we type in the ESTSTO for estimate store, what comes from the following regression. So it gives us all of our, our normal stata output here. Uh, but at the same time, if we scroll down to the bottom here, once, it, uh, <laughs> once the estimation is, is complete, Every so often, my uh, my computer just slows down on me. And there we go. We scroll all the way down. So we've created a new object here, uh, which has our our estimates from that regression. And then to make this interesting, let's do a slightly different specification. Let's add in population density. Once again, using that prefix estimate store. And same thing if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have a second set of estimates. And now if we type in estimates out, E-S-T-O-U-T, uh, we see all of our coefficients in nice tabular form. And what's even better, if we create a table, E-S-T-T-A-B, it gives us the coefficients as well as the T stats, as well as indicating our levels of significance uh, and our number of observations. We can add to that. Uh, we might want the R squared and the adjusted R squared, R2, A, R2. We might want the P values instead of the T stats. And of course, those are all options and they have to follow the comma. There we go. So that's a pretty good looking table. All we want to do now is export that into a Word file. So before we do that, we need to tell Stata where we want that file to be located. So if you go up to File, Change, Working Directory, and we can just indicate where we want that newly created file to end up. So I'm going to put it into Stata Tutorial Files here. And let's call up that table command once again. And we're going to be creating this table using a new file. Let's call it, doesn't matter, data example one. And say I want to put it directly into a Microsoft Word document. So I can just go dot doc and we can run it. And then it gives us the link right here. Open that up and there we have a pretty nice exported table that you can then format within Word. You can obviously uh, plop that into a presentation and you are good to go.
So again, lots of different ways to do this. There's just one more. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thank you very much.